Hi everyone. I uh, hope you're having a good day. Uh, everybody's staying well. And we're off again to see what we can do in Red Dead 2. And let's see what we've got on our map for today. Let's see. Scroll in here. We got need to talk to Molly and Mr. Pearson. Let's go see which is. Let's go check it out. What time of day are we in right now? It is 4.40 p.m. and 81 degrees. And let's see, what do we got? Let's go talk to Molly. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip off. So now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Yeah, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> oh, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Now, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> This way, bunch of smart Alex. How do you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all in five minutes. Well, wow, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. In the nearest garage house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> I've been watching them. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> I don't know, this may be trouble. 
terrible. Stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't try anything stupid, and we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> he doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. See what's inside. <clears throat> okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, uh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! <sighs> Set. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Yeah. How can you sleep after that? All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! I hate it. Now, let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... I why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Right, right. Tell me what you heard. I don't. Yeah, we know this is not going to go I well. Heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the the barn. Huh? Sir. <clears throat> Crap. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back.
Place looks empty to me. And the old guy up there is full of crap. Yeah, I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! <laughs> looks like we're shooting our way out of here, uh. fellas! Charles, more on the right here. Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's got enough to security. We got more of the bastards on this side. Damn it. This fella really don't like getting raw. Let's just hope we don't run up. They teach you that move in the army too? Can't you keep your back beat still for ten goddamn seconds? You got us into this! Get your last goddamn round up! Ah. How about we stop robbing Cornwall for a while? I didn't know we were robbing Cornwall, alright? Put another one in him! Hold them back! Do not let them close in on us! Ain't you glad now I insisted you come along? Oh, this is it. I'm officially retired. Don't worry, fellas. We ain't going out like this. No goddamn way. Why? You got another surefire flag for us, Uncle? God damn it, they're piling in this way now. How the hell did I die? Make your face. Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas. I'll kill you. Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's got enough to security. More on the right here. We got more of the bastards on this side! Surefire plane 
Try to confuse him. Arthur, with me. Anything dumb, Williamson, you're on your own. Oh, shut the hell up. Will you keep up? Quick, behind these rocks. Made a meal out of that, didn't you? Well, just stand there, why don't you? Making an old man suffer. To hell with you! Uh oh, clearly those boys ain't as quiet as us. Guess we should go give them a hand.
I'll still have yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Dang, that was tough. Nice fight. Where are you? Okay. You all right, girl? Find our way back to camp. Um, let's see, let's see. Let's see, Peterson. Yeah. Oh, of course, it's the other way. Come on, boy. Who's there? Okay. I think we should go to sleep. We have five hours till morning, so we need to get some sleep. On my head, get, uh, the pressures I'm under. If you'd only back. talk to me, I could help. I want to help you, Dutch, but there's I this wall. You can help by leaving me alone so I can actually think for once. You're a bastard, Dutch Vanderlind. 
Okay, so let's see. I think we need to get something to eat. Where is it? Let's go over here. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. Put that knife down, or you're gonna be missing a hand, lady. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? Oh I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll and skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Damn things. mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife. Oh, and no, that's why I here. came up with that name. Well, come with me then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? Oh, I love her already. So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wait. I have to. Shoot. We need to get this off of there. There we go. Okay. You cool down then yet? I guess. Whoa. Where I am I ain't going? no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's yeah. that letter? Are uh, you reading his mail now? Oh. Robin and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. <clears throat> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Woo! <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay, 
here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. And no guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. <laughs> Sir, good morning. Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Wow. Sheesh. Let's see. Here's fifty dollars. Do I care? Handle it, yes. Uh, let's see, West Delivery. Yeah, I might as well pay them all. Yeah. Okay. We're good. Do, oh, was there any other things? Uh, no, definitely don't want to do that. Hey, Brownie. Nope, there's your mail. Excuse me. Okay, let's see what Sadie's up to. My sister's newborn had more strength than you, and he came out bright blue. I'm trying. Try harder. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. <laughs> So, you get everything? I think so. And some uh, new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. <laughs> I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm-hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. <laughs> hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool, You Steve. need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Oh. Go, go, go! 
those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Hey, you want me to drive? We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks, but maybe not. That was pretty good. Oh, so who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, I've run into them before. Some local gang don't seem to have grown out of playing soldiers. Anyway, don't you go upsetting Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled <laughs> widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind boggles. Not a chance. Killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Okay. Looks like uh, that mission's complete. Arthur? That was that was a good one. So I think I'm gonna end it here. Since we did end up doing two main missions. So, I hope everybody has a good day. So, what do you think? What well, do you think? Maybe but not. Those two families, the rich ones in the big houses. I don't know. Go have a look around. See what you can find out. Calmly, I mean. Sure. Dutch and I, we both think there's money to be made. I hope so. <laughs> I'll see what I can find out. Okay. That will save for the next, next video. Alright, so we will see you the next video. If uh, you would, help me out. If you would subscribe, hit the button below. I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I love playing this game. And I... Love to hear from you if you got any comments you'd like to make on it. And take care, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.